Hello, good people. This is your goat Minyari, and I'm coming to you from the frozen world of Chimera Land. Um, this video, I want to focus on using the Pippa. Uh, I have a friend who is uh, having some trouble mastering it, and I am no expert, but I can use it fairly well. I do not have the greatest Pippa in the world. It is only a tier 9 impure Pippa. Got 33 damage, bonus damage, 167 attack, which is nice, and uh, another damage bonus of 3.25%. Alright, so using the Pippa, there are three keys um, that you need to be aware of. Also, another plus that you have with the Pippa is that you do not suffer durability loss, although somehow I've lost two durability. I'm not sure how I did that. I don't have any any um, any runes on it that would uh, increase or any attachments that would cause durability loss. But um, I've lost two durability. But anyway, so for a higher quality Pippa with no additional runes to it. There are three spells on the Pippa that you need to be aware of. You've got the single target attack. This heal, this attacks, this does damage, and it also heals yourself. They all do heal, heal yourself. You can see the damage I'm doing up there. So I'm getting 2,000 per hit, and if I just hold down the button, So I'm getting crits of like 2,500 about, and normal damage is like 1,500. The next spell that you have here, uh, I think this is called Fairy. Let's, let's look at. So we've got Strum, which is the one that we were just doing, and that deals damage while restoring hit points to self. Uh, the nice thing about the Pippa is that it ignores um, uh, armor, so, so it's uh, really a deadly, deadly weapon. And one trick to the Pippa, if you look here, it says in air, hold the normal attack button to ascend in the controller's direction. When ascend reaches its highest point, Holding the normal attack button will cause self to suspend in the air, and descending will launch the tune skill effect toward the target location. <clears throat> what does that mean? The tune skill is this. This is a um, an AOE healing uh, attack, uh, also it's an AOE healing effect on p members of your party or just friendly. Uh, uh, friend, friendly folks um, when you target with this you see like a bubble you see the bubble and you put that wherever you want it and then you let it go and it's ticking off 5,000 3,000 it's critting for almost 6,000 and then regular hit is um, um, for 3,000 or so 5,000 crit 4,000, almost 6,000 crits and 4,000 for regular hit. And then the third spell that we have, now he's angry with us, is um, the strum. And this is also an AoE, and it gives you uh, a boost to your speed. So especially if you invest in this at all, um, it's kind of useful for getting around if you want to get someplace in a hurry. So. Remember what I just read to you about the the first one, which was um, shoot, I forgot already. The first one is uh, four strings. Okay, so when I am when I hit when I'm hitting this guy here, and then I hit the jump button. If I hit the jump button and then the four strings right away. It brings me up, and then if I take my finger off the button, I can shoot additional AOEs at it. And you can see that one that's kind of floating up in the air right there? 
So now if I hit my AOE now while I'm on the ground, and I'm gaining my um, my stamina back, I'm going to go ahead, since I'm right next to him, I'll hit him with this AOE here, and then I'll jump and hit the attack button, hit the four strings. And then if you can get yourself up there and then hit the four strings again, now I'm up in the air again, I'm going to hit that four strings again. And every time I hit that four strings, I can get... Usually, if my stamina is full, I can hit like two to three um, stacks of that attack on him at one time. So those are, as I was showing before, it's like six, six, uh, four to six thousand points AOE damage with every tick. So while I'm on the ground, I'll go ahead and hit that. Now I'm going to jump and fly and throw some more AOEs out. While I'm up next to him, I'm going to hit my nearby AOE, and he's dead. Just like that. And I've got myself a new tasty meal. I don't remember who eats the wolf meals. It is not one of my primary pets, but I'll go ahead and kill these. Actually, it might be for my serpent. What does my serpent like to eat? Pet. Cured wolf meat. No, that's from the Batal. So for my, my serpent, he needs either spiced alagon, which I have to go to South Mount to get, or stewed snow goose feet, which is kill hunters, which... <sighs> I hate those things. They're, they're terrible. But anyway, that is that. Um, so basically... You know, what you want to do with the with the Pippa is um, your jump attack is very important. So you don't, it's not just about hitting this um, four string attack, which is the guitar. You also have to hit this jump button and get yourself going up in the air. And then every time that you get to your highest point, it automatically throws the... And if you get good at your targeting, see, I've got three, had three um, AoEs going at the same time there. So if I jump and then hit my attack button, now I'm sailing. And then I can take my finger off of the attack button. And then if I were on the ground... See, and if I want to go fast, I can hit that button. So the go fast button is strum. So that makes you go fast, and that also is a close contact um, AOE heal slash attack button. The tune is the... Um, healing circle the bubble and that is the one that's also an AOE and that's the one that you can throw from the air and then four strings is the regular guitar and that's just a single target um, attack button but the key to it is that if you jump it's hard to do on a slope if you jump and then hit the attack the four strings button right away I can throw several of these things at one time. And then now I'm on the ground, I'll throw another bubble, and then jump, and then hit the four string, and now I can target that one. And I'm out of stamina, so it's going to make it a little tricky. But that's the key right there, is that you jump and you hit the four string button in order to get yourself going up in the air. And then that's when you start throwing out those multiple, and then if I wanted to, I would do another one right here. And so now here's a whole attack area and heal area. So I could feasibly just stand here and heal myself, 
or my pet or my friend by stacking up those um, AOEs. See, I got two of them going at the same time right now. And just for kicks, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go into um, a secret portal so I can practice it. Alright, so jump, get up in the air, start throwing. Now I'm next to him, so I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, AOE right here. That guy's dead. And I do have some points uh, invested in my Pippa. I don't think that's a bad idea uh, because it is a very useful um, weapon no matter what your build. Um, it's a great secondary weapon to have. I've actually seen uh, people, I mean, Lots of people use it as their primary weapon because it is a very effective weapon. Um, has a lot of it gives a lot of forgiveness. terrible aim. So now they're right on top of me, so I shall use, oh, I already used it. Wait for that cool down. And see there, I got two stacks of that AOE, and it just melts them. So, I mean, this is really a great weapon. I know some people don't think it's uh, that fun to use, but once you figure it out, it's very effective and can be a lot of fun to master. And it just takes practice, just like anything. This is not my primary weapon. I really prefer using the fan or the Vex Pinion for PvE. Kind of hoping that I can get good enough with the fan to use it for PvP, but right now I just kind of suck all together with PvP. But that's okay. Somebody's got to die. And if I really were smart, I would have my attendant out right now just so that they can gain some experience, but it's too late to pull them out. Really, I just wanted to help um, folks figure out the Pippa. Or the Pippa. I'm not really sure. It's hilarious to me that the name of this weapon is actually censored in Chimera Land chat. 
Like, why would you censor a, or even name a weapon if it's a bad word in certain languages? Then why would you name your weapons after that? But the Pippa is my number one suggestion for people who are just getting started and they want to, you know, a, a weapon that's useful for themselves and for the group. Uh, the Pippa is the way to go. It is powerful, it is easy to use, and it gets the job done. And that's about it for the Pippa. Uh, I hope that's helpful. And if so, then please give me a subscribe and a like. Um, and I will see you next time. Oops. Just take care of that snow peen real quick. Dead. See how easy that is? Just gotta jump and do the four strum. Can't even stop. Look, I got me some indigo jade. Yay! Alright, thank you. Have a great day. I'll talk to you later.